Hello dear student. Welcome to the class of Applied Zoology with Dr. Agnes Kara. Today we are learning study of external morphology and life cycle of Bombex murai. Bombex murai is commonly called as silk moth. External morphology of Bombex murai is as follows. The adult silk moth is 2.5 to 3 cm in length and pale creamy white in color. It has a long robust body covered with small hairs. These insects are sluggish due to heavy body which is well divided into head, thorax and abdomen. The head bears pair of compound eyes and pair of bipactinate antennae. The mouth parts are reduced or absent in the adults. Thorax is three segmented. Prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. These are the three segments of the thorax. Each thoracic segment bears a pair of leg from ventral side. Meso metathoracic segments are provided with a pair of cream colored wings having demarcating dark and fan brown bars. Wingspan is about 4 to 5 cm when expanded fully. Wings have dark wings extending out to the margin. The abdomen is covered with scales and is highly extended in females whereas it is slender and cylindrical in case of male. On the lateral side of first six abdominal segments, there lies a pair of spiracles each. Sexes are separate with clear sexual dimorphism. The males are smaller and slender, whereas the females are bigger and stout. There are Eight visible abdominal segments in male while only seven visible segments in the females. The terminal abdominal segments of male has pair of hooks known as herpes as an accessory copulatory organ. Life cycle of Bombex murai. Bombex murai shows polymetabolous kind of life cycle that means all the life stages that is eggs, larvae, pupa and adult. These four life cycle stages are present in the life cycle of this insect and that is the reason it is called as heterholometabolous insect. The life cycle shows that adult female lays eggs which hatch out into larvae. This larvae pass out to five instar stages and then fifth instar larvae converted into the cocoon and from the cocoon adult emerged out. So this is the life cycle of the silk worm. Let us study each phase of life cycle in detail. Life cycle of Bombax murai first stage is egg. Soon after copulation, female starts laying eggs. It lays around 300 to 400 eggs in a cluster. After laying eggs, female die within 4 to 5 days as they do not need and are exhausted by egg laying process. As they, these adult females do not feed. The freshly laid eggs are small, spherical and yellowish white in color and measures around 1 to 1.3 mm in length and 0.9 to 1.2 mm in width. During incubation and embryonic development, its color changes from yellow to brown and then gray and day by day they become dry and hard. In optimum temperature of 18 to 24 degrees Celsius, they will hatch within a period of 7 to 10 days. Otherwise, the period of hatching increases. In extremely adverse condition, they take more than 10 days to hatch 
or may undergo dormant stages. The eggs are of two types, hibernating and non-hibernating eggs. The next stage of life cycle of Bombax mori is larva. On completion of embryonic development, eggs hatch into the tiny black to brown caterpillar. The newly emerged larvae are about 3 mm in length. They are minute, slender, black to brown in color. The body of larva is rough, wrinkled and extremely hairy which moves very fast. The body of larva is divisible into prominent head, segmented thorax and an elongated abdomen. The head bears biting and chewing that is mandibulate kind of mouth parts and three ocelline. The thorax region bears three pairs of true legs. Abdominal region has ten segments provided with five pairs of pseudo legs that is one pair each in segment 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and 10th. Hence this larva is known as polypod larva. It has small dorsal horn on the anal segment. Its larvae like other Lepidopteran caterpillar are cruciform and peripneustic. Young silkworm voraciously feed on tender mulberry leaves. After growth of first instar larvae, it continues feeding on mature leaves of mulberry and grows rapidly in size. Full grown larvae is 6 to 8 cm, dark, rough body, wrinkle grayish dull color and thick like a, like a thumb. The larval stage lasts for about 27 days and the silkworm goes through five growth stages called as instars during this time. During the first molting, the silkworm shades all its hair and gains smooth skin. After passing through four molds, it last fifth instar attain maximum size and has developed salivary gland completely. After completion of growth, they stop feeding and undergo pupation. The time taken for full growth on the caterpillar from young to well-grown stage varies with, with regards to the temperature, humidity, food and type of grace. The next stage in the life cycle of Bombax mori is pupa. The fully formed fifth instar larva undergo physiological changes and become restless due to hormonal changes. It stops feeding and returns to a corner for shed and dry space to spin a silken cocoon in order to undergo pupation. Completely enveloped larval case made up of secreted thread is known as cocoon which looks like a reel of the silken thread. This natural reel known as cocoon provides protection and soft bed to larva to undergo pupation. The pupal period lasts for 10 to 15 days during which metamorphic transformation or changes occur in the mature larva within cocoon. Smooth, wrinkled body of larva shrink in size and develops scales and hairs all over the body. In adults, the mouth parts regresses and digestive system undergo atrophic state. Head develops the pair of bushy antenna and compound eyes. The abdominal prolex disappears and three pair of legs are developed from ventral side of each thoracic segment. Thorax also develops two pair of wings on dorsolateral sides of meso and metathoracic segment. The next stage of life cycle of Bombax mori is adult. After completion of pupil development, the adult silk moth emerges from the cocoon. It gives out alkaline secretion to soften the end of cocoon and then escape. 
The body of the moth is covered in short, fine hair and wings are creamy white with faint brown lines. Moth cannot fly. Males move about beating their wings seeking females. If adult copulate in captivity, the female will lay eggs within 24 hours. They mate only few hours after their birth and start laying eggs. Both the sexes do not feed before copulation. Once copulated, female can lay fertilized eggs till she dies. Fertilization is internal and copulation is continuous for about 2-3 to three hours. If not separated, they may die after few hours of copulation. Thank you.